good morning all of my lovely people I am going to be finished cleaning today and then um, sorry out of focus but I'm gonna be finished cleaning today and I'm gonna get a pot of chili on it is cold and I just feel like we need some chili I've got some beans that I made like let me show you guys the freezer hell a lot of this is already bagged what yes but um, I have this bag of beans that I could put in it. I probably, I don't know, I might do the whole thing. I've got a hamburger in the instant or in the microwave that I can use. I've got um, corn that I'm going to be putting in there. I've got some beans I could be putting in there. And um, I'm just, I'm looking around to see what I could put in there because I want some chili. But, anyways, um, I want to make some chili. I'm thinking about making it in here. But then again, I want some leftovers for the week and the rest of the weekend because right now we're eating leftovers from the refrigerator. Um, it's Saturday. So usually Friday night, unless we order something, but Friday night and Saturday and then Sunday either, either to lunch or for dinner, whatever, it's leftovers. Anything in the refrigerator is grabbed. It just saves me from cooking for three days out of the week. And yeah, so then Sunday... Like, I'll cook every night, so mostly, but there are some times that I will um, cook, like, say, Sunday or Monday night, and that'll be some leftovers, and I'll cook, like, Wednesday, and that'll be some leftovers. Like, it's, like, it's whatever. Um, my goal is, when I cook, though, is I cook, but then there's enough for lunch, and there's enough for Daniel's, Daniel to go to work. So, I've got some sauce. I've got... V8 juice that I use. I've got chili powder that we need to use. Um, I've got the hamburger that I need to use as I'm thawing this out. And then... You look really beautiful. Hold on, let me see. You look so beautiful, Obs. You look good. Beans I could put in there. I've got onions I could put in there. I don't know what vegetables I have I could put in there. Um, I'll have to look around and see. But, yeah, tonight it's it's literally up for grabs. I don't know if I'm going to cook it in this, if I'm going to cook it in the Instant Pot, or if I'm going to cook it in this big, huge pot. I might just cook it in this pot so I can be on the safe side. Um, this is Daniel's. I haven't used it in, like, God knows how many months. But... I'm going to get some chili on. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm wanting to defrost this as best as I can. But, um, I might let Mason and Aubrey help me. I don't know. We're going to make chili today. Yeah, I'm going to help. You want to help? Yeah. I'll let your sister help too. I'm just going to show you what I found. I have V8 juice that I'm going to use the rest of. And then... I have <clears throat> I have lentils that I'm going to put in there. I have beef broth. I actually have two cans of those to go in there. And then I found a can of Skyline Chili. If you live in northern Kentucky in Ohio, you know that Skyline and Gold Star Chili is the best chili, including Camp Washington. So I'm going to add one of those in there just because we don't have enough to feed the whole family with just one can anymore because we've been eating the other ones then I have a can of diced tomatoes that I'm going to put in there oh I found a bag of rice that I'm going to put in there to make it spread like to add more to so I'll pop that in there and then I'm not going to use all of this corn I'm probably going to use about half of it put the rest back in the freezer so I've got corn that I'm going to be putting in there and like I said you know, this is not, I don't make chili the same way every single time. I just use what I know what will work and try to hope and pray that if I use something that's different, that it turns out good. Then I have beef broth again, dark kidney beans, and then I have a can of um, spaghetti sauce, tomato sauce. And I picked it up at Walmart where Daniel works um, on clearance. I think it was like 15 cents. That's how marked down it was. And you can see it's got the sticker to be reduced because it was dented. 
So, oh, and to top it off, I've got black. Let me show you. So I've got the hamburger I'm going to be grinding up. I've got an onion or two that I'm going to put in there. And then I've got a bag of black beans that I'm going to put in. And then in the freezer, I found some cheese that we can top it with that needs to be used. So it is what it is. Um, I'm not going to record opening these cans because I have a can opener that just absolutely sucks. Like 100% sucks. Um, Daniel accidentally popped it apart, not trying, and ever since then, it's been like a real piece of crap. So, I'm going to open these and pray for the best. Whoa! Alright, so I added the hamburger and I'm about to add the onions. Oh, I'm not going to get you. Oh, I'm going to cut up the other side of this onion and add it in. And onions are healthy for you and they like getting you. I got onions and I got onions and I got them. Mm -hmm. Onions? I like onions, but she's going to add this stuff in there and then the cans and then the salted stuff and the beans and the corn and the rice. Yeah, and then they want... And then she's going to cook it. And, yeah. So that's how I'm going to do it? Mm -hmm. Is that and how I do first, it every time? That second, that third. Right, we got to cook the onion. Yeah. And, and, the and then, and then, she's going to cook it. And then, after we eat it, and then... Uh, you're gonna fall. We're going to have leftovers for every day and now, yeah. Yep, we're going to have leftovers. Every single day, we have hamburgers, onions, hamburgers, onions, and... I'll get some bowls. Robert, we're not eating yet. Corn, beans, rice, cans. Watch your elbows, you're going to get burnt. garlic minced up so I'm going to add garlic salt to it and then I'll add some more hey you want to dump it yeah. don't dump it all the just dump a little bit mommy can I dump some yes you can dump something in a little hold on I'll let me close this one and I'll then Aubrey is going to dump some chili powder I like to cook the chili powder in Hold on, I like to cook the chili powder in the meat and then add it to this packet, or into the juice. Let Not your yet. brother help you. Not yet. Let him help you open it. Okay, dump it in there. Hold on, let me see. Oh, yeah. Let me take this off. Mm. I can't dump this on. Lightly dump it, okay? Don't want to dump too much. Alright. That's good. Thank you. Okay, where's the lid? Way over there. I got it. Now your brother's got it. Thank you. Alright, now we're going to add... The stuff. No, not yet. we got to let it cook. We're going to add some Mrs. Dash. It's got lemon, it's lemon pepper seasoning. I want to do it. Hold on, your brother's going to do this one, then you can do the salt. I'm gonna lightly do this. Okay, that's good. Hi, John. I just did it in the, like a circle, like to see. Mm-hmm. I did it. And then we're gonna add a little bit of pepper. It's mine. I do it. If you add. Yeah, and your pepper up. Mm -hmm. All right. Good job. Now it's Mason's time. Yep, hang on just a second. Hold on. Well, um, like I said, the can opener sucked. So I was like halfway using the can opener. I broke a razor blade trying to pop the can, or trying to fix the, see if I could fix the can opener. 
but I broke it. And then um, I was using my knife to pry the lid up some. That way the can broken can opener can have a better grip. And I'll show you. I already added the chicken broth. I didn't add both because I was not about to mess with it. Yes, hang on. And then, um, as you could, I don't know if you could tell, by the little rigid can, but I'm about to add diced tomatoes. You want to pour it in? Mm -hmm. Be careful, it is hot. But I was wanting to pour everything in last, but I was trying to drain the juice in them. Um, that way I could toss it, turn it, and everything I need to do. But it's okay. The meat is still cooking. And then I'm about to just open up the cans that have um, the little pop tabs on them. That way I don't have to worry about popping. Um, I don't have to worry about using the can opener anymore because I'm over it. I need a new key. Careful. Open that for me. Um. Okay. Bob, you can pour the chili in. <gasps> you gotta be careful. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. Let me get the rest out. Wow. That pop? Yep, pour the rest in. We're gonna pour all of it in there. Mason's going to dump in the kidney beans with the juice. Right. Uh, your sister can because you just poured the beans. Can you mix it without mm -hmm. dropping it? I was starting it for her so she, you know, I, I was showing her. Her job. I was showing her for that. Okay, hold on. You're flipping sauce everywhere. You're okay. So while he's doing that, I'm going to pop the black beans. I'm going to pop the black beans in the microwave to thaw. So this is two pounds of lentils that I'm putting in here. If I have to add more water, or if I have to add water, I will later on. Whoa, damn it. Whoa, well, that was a whole bunch. It was, wasn't it? The, I'm going to let the beans defrost, check it, and then I'll put it on low. Like, yeah, I'm gonna one, put it, two, three. Yeah, I'm going to put it on low because um, it's 10 o'clock now. So by the time Danny gets home, about 4, like we'll be eating it for lunch. No, we'll be eating leftovers for lunch. But, um, yeah, I'm going to let the beans cook. Oh, we got to add the seasonings to it again. Oh, my camera, I think it's Yep, it does, don't it? <laughs> Alright, guys, so I'm going to make this a two-in-one video. Um, I just want to say something real quick. Uh, before I tell you how the chili was, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so the, the way that I do, like, the cooking around here, I do do meals that you make, like, pot roast and, and potato and soup I and, like, like, steak and potatoes and stuff. But really, I like to throw stuff together, make a soup with it, and be done. So, I have stuff that I need to cook. Let me pull it out. Um, I'm, about to, I'm about to show you everything I'm about to put together. It is what it is. Have you ever heard of... Um, Aubrey, go rock your brother back and forth to sleep, please. Real quick. Okay. Before you help. Um, anyways, what I like to do is I like to gather up scraps. Like, I have this one onion left. I'm about to use it. Um, I have this bag of... It's cauliflower, carrots, broccoli. I'm about to put that in there. Um, I have a big pack of hot dogs. I grant it. Let me show you. Let me show you. I have corn in the refrigerator from the chili that I'm about to put in here, too. But I'm about to make... I'm about to just make a big huge soup using what I've got. Um, I have hard salami that I found in the refrigerator. Okay, real quick. I have 
The seasoning, I have uh, lemon pepper, salt free, Mrs. Dash, and then I have garlic salt. I have garlic salt because I am out of, I'm out of actual garlic. Like I said, I have corn that I'm going to be putting in there, just a little bit of corn. I have some green beans I'm going to throw in there. And then as of, like, the broth, I've got these um, bouillon cubes I'm going to put in with some water. I'm trying to move everything so I can show you guys. I have, like, this is sausages, you guys. This is what I have left of sausages I'm going to throw in there. And what else do I have? Like I said, I have an onion. Some of these beef franks. And I know usually, like, the flavor of hot dog water. But these are beef, so they won't do that. Or rice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a half a bag of this. This is one pound. It feeds. It has about 15 servings. So I'm just going to cut it in half. And cook this first in the Instant Pot using the rice setting. The multi-grain setting. It would be rice on your guys's. Get that started while I defrost the salami. Oh, and then I'm going to be putting potatoes in it. Um, if you hear a lot of noise in the background, Mason is playing... Hold on. Mason is playing Kingdom Hearts and Aubrey's Rocking Lights Back and Forth to Sleep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the rice started. I probably won't show you any of that. If I do, it's probably going to be quiet. That way you guys aren't hearing baby screaming and crying. Even though it's real life. But, yeah, I'm going to get that stuff going. And I'll just... I'll show you what I do as I go. Aubrey's my helper today. Alright guys, so I have the salami in the microwave heating up the thaw. I'm going to add I'm going to add half a cup or half a bag full of the rice. This is the long grain rice. What I'm gonna do what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the rest of this butter in. There's about a tablespoon. And then because I'll need butter, um, because I'll need butter for the soup, I'm going to use another whole bar. Can you throw this way, please? Yeah. Thank you. I realized on this one that when you press the rice button, it only does 10 minutes. But that's okay because I'll be doing an additional 5 minutes with the soup. Maybe even 2, depending so it's no big deal. They can be a little bit mushy. But I just put on rice. And it will automatically have 10 minutes. That's what I'm going to cook it for. The onion. Um, about two potatoes. I'm probably going to cream. No, not cream. Let them. I'm going to cut the to. Obs is waving. But I'm going to cut a couple of potatoes. Cut the onion. Cut up some hot dogs. Cut up the salami. And then I'll show you everything. From cut up three small potatoes. And I put the vegetables in here. I'm missing the corn. I don't know what happened to it. But I will find it. But to make my life easier. I'm just going to add the sausages into this, bowl, into this bowl. To make space. That way Aubrey can just dump it in. And then. I got to. You know what? I'm just going to cut it open. I'm going to add the hot dogs. Uh-oh. Some are rolling. Since my battery is starting to die, I'm actually going to um, cut up the salami, let the battery charge in my camera because I just got this camera. <laughs> oh, goodness, I got the hiccups. And then I'm going to see what and all I have room and put the hamburger and or put the put the hot dogs and stuff up. That way I have more room on the stove to put it all in the Instant Pot and let it cook. All right, and then I'll show you the final product. Or I'll show you. Hey! I'll show you everything as um, we put it in, in there. Does that make sense? Alright. Alright. 
So it is literally completely full. And I'm just, it's 12.39 now. So you'll see. I'm going to add the rest of the garlic salt. And how, let me show you how full it is. So there it is, all the way full. Yes, but it's kind of wet up here. Kind of wet? Mm -hmm. Am I going to do top? Okay, you're going to pour this one in. Pop the top. Aubrey has come to help. You just pour, okay, all right, that's good. All right, no, no, that's okay, pour it back in there. Thank you. Can you take these, can you take this little tab off? So while she peels that, I can either cook it for four or five hours, for four yeah. hours, or I can fill it all the way up and let it cook down and do about uh, five or six minutes. Either way, it's going to take a long time. I have an hour. There is no more. Can you hold this right here like that? Yeah. Well, just hold it over it. Don't let it get water anywhere, okay? But, um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'll probably do, I'll probably do about, eh, about five minutes on manual and then I'll see how it goes from there. Keep it like this please. That away. If it doesn't cook down I can put it on regular. You know what I mean? And cook it down that way. So about eight minutes after I thought about it. Usually I do about four but because it's so full I'm going to do eight minutes and then I'm going to let it naturally at least too because a lot of stuff is still frozen. And then we will see from there. So usually, I know what I'm talking about. And I know what I'm doing. But, we're in the kitchen. We're in Destiny's kitchen. And we will do things accordingly. Because every day is a new day. And we're not professional chefs. And professional chefs still do things their way sometimes when they're home. Alright guys, it is done. I've let it sit for a minute. I have stirred it and taken some pictures. But this is it, you guys. This is... This is dinner. Salami, hot dogs, sausages, carrots, green beans. Couldn't find the corn. I don't know what I did with it. I might have buried it in the refrigerator somewhere. But potatoes, rice. There's some rice. I don't know if you guys can see it. But this, this is dinner. Lunch if the kids want some now. And then, um just to eat on for the rest of the week or until it's gone so I like to make soups from whatever we have and that is what I did I hope you guys enjoy this video and I cannot wait to serve it out guys if you have vegetables you don't have to have meat but if you have vegetables and rice or noodles or beans or all Throw it together. Make a soup. Add some water. Add some add some flavor to it. Add seasonings. Make some food with it. Double batch it. Um, honestly, I can say that I don't make the same exact soup twice. Um, I'll try to replicate it or make it again. And I, I can do that. I've done that before. But usually it's what we have on hand. And it stretches and it's really good. And as long as you have vegetables, water... Or V8 juice to make like chili or make chili um, seasonings, even just salt and pepper, garlic, onions, vegetables. Throw it together, make something with it. And does the meat have to match? No, but it's good. I mean, that's what gives the flavor out in it, right? All right, I'm gonna put these two videos together for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.